that's just a simple repair I did to one of these really cheap LED flashlights that um, some people was selling as a Christmas stocking stuffer type thing. I think the year before last or thereabouts, or very cheap book something or thereabouts. Um, they ran on one uh, AA uh, alkaline cell. And the original circuit was extremely simple. It's a very simple jewel thief type arrangement with, with an inductor and uh, one uh, transistor that very came right out of focus. That a uh, tiny SOT23 device for scale. It's my finger. But anyways, that transistor died and the flashlight stopped working, so I just replaced the original circuit with a uh, 68 ohm resistor. And uh, instead of a one and a half volt alkaline cell, I'm using a, a 3.6 volt uh, lithium vinyl chloride cell. Because I got a bunch of these for free about a year ago. Quite of these things, they have a 10 year shelf life, but this one is a day 307 to 2000, so it's about 12 and a half years old and still works. At least for the, I don't know. 5 milliampers or 10 milliampers that this thing uses. It's not as bright as it originally was, but considering it uses a cheap Chinese who flung dung LED, that's not necessarily a bad thing. And um, and here's the light working. Not screamingly bright, but there's many times when you don't want a screamingly bright flashlight. And on the plus side, this thing now has a cell life in the many, many hundreds of hours. But they're 2.45 ampere hour cells when new. And considering that the operational current in this thing is less than 10 milliampers, it run for weeks at a time. Granted, these aren't brand new cells, it's probably not anywhere near that. Only get maybe a week or two of continuous operation, but it works. And especially with new cells, because you can get these on Amazon for as low as two bucks a piece. Um, these French safts, they're started about at three and a half bucks each if you order a bunch of them. But, anyways, works. Yeah.